I was packaging pins, but then I realized that this was at the front. So let's do it. This is the first run Disney race since 20, since I moved down here in 2019, not counting the pause races that I haven't run at least the 5K in. If you didn't know, I had foot surgery in May, right after the Toy Story 10 miler. That race was hell, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I couldn't really train for it because I was in a lot of foot pain, which is why I had foot surgery. Doctor told me I really shouldn't have run the 10 miler. I'd already paid for it at that point. So like it was null and void. I was like, we're gonna try. If I get pulled, I get pulled. Did not get pulled. I think I was ahead of the balloon ladies by like five minutes. If you don't know, the balloon ladies are like the last pacers. So they keep the official 16 minute mile that you have to do when they're the last person that goes through um, like the start. So um, yeah, that was hell. I knew I wasn't gonna be able to do this, but there is a character for Wine and Dine Weekend that I really, really like. If you know anything about me, you'll know who it is. We also happened to be on our honeymoon and stuff when this happened anyway. So it worked out the way it is. So I ended up doing it virtually and I ended up running in Turkey actually this race. But I figured I'd share the box with you. So this is the Wine and Dine Virtual Half Marathon. I ended up doing the challenge, which is the 10K and the half marathon with the challenge medal. So not necessarily the 10K or the half I wanted. I really wanted the challenge medal, but we'll go through all of them. Just if I can open this thing. Okay, we're just gonna rip it, that's fine. We're gonna take it all out so I can just show it to you and not have this box be obnoxious. Um, this is like my third or fourth time doing a virtual race. Um, pretty easy. You just like record your time and whatnot. It doesn't count as like an official time for anything because there's like no proof of time. Um, Jesus. That was way harder than that needed to be. Okay. Everything is out of the box. We're just going to throw stuff. So first the 10K medal. The 10K was like um, Beauty and the Beast themed. So this one is Lumiere and Cogsworth running and then it flips and it's um, Mrs. Potts and Chip, the regular one. Um, the difference between this and the regular race medals is if you run it virtually, they actually indicate on your medal, Jesus, that you ran it virtually. So it does say virtual on it. That is the difference. So if I ran it in person, it wouldn't have that virtual on it, but the medal, I'm pretty sure the medal is exactly the same. It doesn't indicate like virtual on the metal, but we got that. So that's the 10K, which I ran very easily in Turkey, walked everywhere. And then um, wine and dine and marathon weekend, they do long sleeves, princess, and whatever they do in the spring is short sleeves. But this one is just 10K featuring um, Lumiere and Cogsworth. And I got it in a small. Next up, we have the half marathon, which was um, in Kanto themed. So we have Mirabelle and Bruno. Let's get it to focus. And then it says the magic is in you and I don't, oh, okay. So I kind of spoiled it. So she moves to show Bruno. So it's magnetic and whatnot. Normally there's some sort of like moving element. That's the back. It says the magic is in you. My magnet's a little wonky. And then again, it says 2023 20, wine and dine. And then it does indicate that you ran it virtually. So that's this one. And then, Ugh. I don't know, I just knocked over. Oh, my camera thing, we're fine. Again, long sleeve and this like orangey yellowish color. It's actually like a burnt yellow. Just says 13.1 miles. And the whole reason I did this, because there's no way I, I knew I wasn't gonna be able to run the challenge. So in order to get the challenge medal at Disney, you have to successfully do the 10K and the half. They will give you the 10K medal and the half medal if you get swept. But if you don't successfully complete it, you don't get the challenge medal, if that makes sense. So I knew I wasn't going to get the challenge medal because there's no way I would have been able to do a 10K and turn around and do a half mile, especially with I had foot surgery in May. Training would have started like july -ish, and I don't think I was cleared to do that type of activity until August. So it would have been behind. So I was like, virtual it is. You still get a figment shirt. Again, the whole reason I did this was for Figment. Unfortunately, the friends that I had that went to the uh, expo said that the Figment merchandise was like cleared out very, very fast. So I'm in search of the pins from this race, but we have Figment holding like a little thing. 
It's a croissant and a cupcake. This is wine and dine challenge. And it's pigment running. Oh my God, it lights up. There's a light. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, let your imagination run. Oh my gosh, okay, that's the back. And this is where I said that there was a light. And then it's figment running. And he's going, I love it. <laughs> and there it is, it's your imagination. Okay, so that's adorable. So the whole reason I did it was for this metal. I love it so much. Again, I ran this in Turkey. It has figment on the inside, again, with the virtual indicator. So that is that one. That is it. It was short and sweet. Um, let me know if you did this in person or virtually, or if you're planning on doing any Run Disney races. I can try to give you tips and tricks. <coughs> I've only successfully done 5K and 10K. I want to say I successfully did the Toy Story 10 miler, but that was painful. And I don't recommend not training like I did and not hydrating. I was so nauseous and probably so dehydrated by the end of that 10 miler and my foot literally swelled up like the one that I had to have surgery on. So I don't recommend doing what I did, but I can give you tips and tricks for a 5K and 10K because I've done those successfully with better, better results. Um, yeah, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It's a great way for my channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I do Disney pin and lifestyle content. If not already hit that bell icon so you're notified each and every time I post a new video. I hope you're staying happy, healthy, and safe. See you in the next one. And you never know what kind of figment you may come up with. Oh, here's my favorite.